So, when we first met in med school, you were just a nerdy and skinny little boy. And now, you're still nerdy and very skinny. But you're my nerdy and skinny man. So, you're the only man whom I want to spend the rest of my life with. You are the reason that I smile, and you give me comfort beyond measure when I'm down. I'm far from perfect. I'm always late. I spend too much. I roll rage at the slow drivers on the road. I know because you tell me so. But after you roll your eyes at me, it's always followed by a hug and a there there, I still love you. When I first met Jess, I never expected that she would be the one who would spend all the money in my bank. <laughs> but now then I realize that's life. I was never a romantic person and my parents would always call me boring, saying that I would lose my girlfriend one day because I was such a routine and mundane person. All my friends sitting here will be able to testify that I had no problems just sitting down at home and playing computer games the whole day. Yet, when you came into my life, you accepted me for who I was. Yeah. <laughs> Chua, take Chok Liang Jie to be my wedded husband, to love, to have, to hold from this day onwards. In good times and in bad times, I promise to try to be on time. For richer or for poorer, I promise not to spend all of our money. Moving on to a new chapter in our lives, I am glad that you have allowed me to write this chapter with you. I brainstormed for many ways to end this speech toying with different ways of expressing my thanks and love towards you. But at the end of the day, I am but a simple man, and nothing can say it more than this. Jess, I will love you forever and always. Thank you. and Dr. Jessica Chua as both of you have promised your, and, your, and given your consent before me to live together in matrimony and have solemnly promised each other to do so I now pronounce you man and wife yeah. 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 Yeah.